talking about dryer vents, I'm going to show you another little good one. Now, uh, one of the big things we do is at Wind Energy 7 is conservation. Uh, this is an inline um, bypass that, that, you know, it takes your, uh, your clothes dryer and goes in line in the same, you know, dryer style vent right behind your dryer, your clothes dryer. You take the vent, you run it in here, out there, and outside. And what this does is it, it gives you a bypass that you can turn that vent off and all the hot air you're using to dry clothes, you can eject out into the house rather than wasting it outside. If you're in a colder climate like me in Ohio, that's really important because uh, for me in the winter time, with one of these on my clothes dryer, we dry all our clothes at night. And so during the winter, you're burning two, 220 volts, uh, a lot of electricity it takes to dry clothes. Um, and in the meantime, you're also trying to heat your house. If you go outside your house and you notice uh, big fog and, and uh, so forth, uh, blowing out the side of the house where the clothes dryer is just wasting all that electricity and hot air is blowing outside the house while you're, while you're trying to keep the house warm. So this is one of the things that I highly recommend. This is not very expensive. It's really important. You put one of these on your house and uh, do your clothes drying at night, and you'll notice your heating bills will go down. You, I mean, there's a lot of hot air goes through that clothes dryer to dry the clothes. Um, so anyway, I highly recommend that. Um, and uh, this brand is uh, Deflecto Hardware, and it is called Extra Heat. And uh, I highly recommend that. Uh, I don't know if you can see, they've got a picture of it uh, right next to the dryer here. And uh, I'll be putting this up on my website for, for you guys to see if you want to look at the website. I'm going to hold this up so you can see that. It's called Extra Heat by Deflecto. It's an important gadget. Save you a lot of money. Uh, that's one of the things that you do when, when you're making your own power, you, you get smart with it. Um, Another thing I'd like to recommend is LED lighting. LED lighting is still uh, being developed out, but in terms of conservation, uh, we like to go with uh, CFL bulbs everywhere. Um, and uh, in any kind of new construction, we discourage any kind of the, the tube lighting fluorescents uh, because the, uh, the, the next thing is going to be LEDs. They're going to save a lot of electricity. They're coming along. They're like CFLs were a couple of years ago. They're still um, you know, being developed, costs are coming down, right? It costs you, you know, 30 to 100 bucks. Uh, and uh, although they last a long time and use hardly any energy, that's still very pricey. So what I would recommend on any new construction, what I'm also doing in this garage remodel, is, um, is I'm re taking out all my tube uh, fluorescents like these here, uh, and, uh, and I'm putting in rows of the old traditional style, style screw-in uh, sockets. Um, and, and initially I'm going mostly with CFL. I do have a bunch of uh, LED bulbs uh, because I buy them all the time and test for all kinds of bulbs. Um, but anyway, initially I'll be going mainly with CFL bulbs in here and I'll have the screw-in sockets which are perfect for the LED. When the LEDs are ready and you know the price is right and everything, uh, I'll be just converting those to LEDs. Uh, so I recommend on all new, new construction that you go with all screw-in type uh, lighting. Um, LEDs, uh, the main issue I have with LEDs right now is the color of the light. Uh, you know, it's very blue in most of them. Some of them are quite green. Um, and it's hard to get a perfect warm white out of them. The warm white ones are even a little too yellow. So uh, they're coming along. Uh, but a good one costs you about 65 bucks right now. Uh, and I do have some in tests that I'm trying to see how long they last and see if that 65 bucks really does ROI because that's that's pretty high and the CFL bulbs right now um, you know they're they're very cheap and they've sort of become the standard so the CFL bulb very cost effective uh, you know not not expensive to get into and will still save you a lot of energy uh, so one thing I would do is make sure to go around your house get rid of all the you know any of the lighting that's uh, you know that's incandescent old style light bulbs get rid of it, find a way to get CFL uh, bulbs in there, uh, and that's compact fluorescent type that are a little screw type bulb, uh, that's what you want to be using.